some good news. I was just halfway through watering my orchids and took a break. Had a quick look at my email and I've got an email from the agent who do uh, the actual guy who deals with the landlord directly and the agency have got permission to get a tree surgeon in to remove the tree. Now that doesn't mean it's been done yet. All they've got at the moment is permission to produce a quote. And, and it's typical, isn't it? They tried to make arrangements to come at 12 o'clock this Saturday. This Saturday is my Orchid Society's Christmas lunch. It's the only day in the foreseeable future that I'm actually out all day. So there's nobody to let him in. Um, so they'll have to rearrange it. But it looks like the tree will be gone at some point and I will be really pleased to see the back of it. It's gonna let a lot more light in. It'll feel more airy in here. Can't do anything about that one, obviously. <laughs> it's actually got a conservation, a preservation order or something on it. Um, when the estate was built and the houses were put up, that tree was put in a protective, uh, protected state. So it can't be touched without special permission, um, written special permission as well. But this one can, because it belongs in this garden. I'll be glad to see the back of that. It drops a lot of mess. The only downside will be that it's a resting place for a lot of the birds and it's a nice high point. For, you know, birds like to get up high so they can see around. But um, anyway, it's going to be gone, hopefully in the not too distant future. I hate to think how much that's going to cost, but it's a landlord problem, not mine. And I'll probably never get to find out. Mind you, when the tree surgeon comes round and I let him in, I'll be here, so I can always ask him, can't I? <laughs> but I'm not paying for it, that's for sure. Anyway, bit of good news. It sounds like some progress at long last.